Hey everyone, it's Alec, and I have been using the iPad Air 2 as my main productivity device, just for the heck of it, and I've learned a few things. Web browsing, emailing, binge watching, YouTube, and game playing, photo and video editing. Wait, what? Yes, you heard that right. I've been doing photo and video editing on this old iPad, and that's kind of what I want to talk to you about. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm not, but like I said, I learned a few things, so let me talk about that. First off, the iPad isn't what it used to be. No longer is it just a giant iPod touch. It's actually become a lot more since the advent of iPad OS, making it ever closer to the Mac and just a smidgen more useful than an iPhone or an iPad used to be. This particular iPad I've been using lately came out in 2014, which makes it six years old at the time of filming this. And that's as old as Guardians of the Galaxy, Interstellar, and The Fault in Our Stars. Well, the movie, not the book. So for an iPad, that's pretty old. But despite its age, I've been plugging away just fine on iPadOS 13 in absolute bewilderment at the performance it's had when editing video and photo compared to my MacBook. I can't lie to you and say I've had a troublesome free experience. There has been normal lag as you would expect with a device this old, but comparatively, it's not that bad. But why? Why does a six-year-old iPad outperform a newer MacBook Pro or an iMac? This has been my main device lately, and it's done so much better than either of them. Uh, why is that? And the answer is it uses Apple's A-series chipset processors, which in layman's terms just means it uses a different processor that doesn't require as much power or as much cooling power. So that's why you can have an iPad, your phone. It, it's sometimes easier to just look something up on the web right there. It's on instantly. It doesn't lag a whole lot compared to a computer. There's no fans that it needs to cool down. It just works, right? That's how I describe it. It's like magic, it just works. And that's due to the processing power within these devices. They're called ARM chips, A-R-M. And it basically just means it's a smaller nano process than like an Intel processor is on a laptop. And that in a nutshell gives you much better processing power out for the size of the device. But like I said, I've been using this as my main device lately. I'm even using it right now to kind of go through my outline through this video. And it's just been awesome typing on it. The experience has been great. Like I said, there's a little bit of lag here and there with regular use, but it's not horrible. Long story short, I'm just gonna say it. I've been able to edit 4K video on this six-year-old iPad way easier and way more efficiently than editing the same 4K video on my 2017 MacBook Pro with much higher specs and much more capability. This just works better. Granted, the editing experience is not as comprehensive or extensive, I use something called Adobe Premiere Rush, which is basically like a slimmed down version of Premiere Pro built for phones and for iPads, basically. And it's a really slimmed down version of Premiere Pro. Like I say, I can edit, cut, paste. I can do basically about 90% of everything I would need to in Premiere Pro, with the exception of some maybe advanced keyframing or using some After Effects, things like that. Um, but that's something that I could just jump on the computer to do, but then the rest of it, I can just edit on here pretty smoothly. And what really takes the cake, what makes the difference is that ARM processor when it comes to exporting. Like I said, it's way more power efficient, so I can export 4K video on this way faster than I can on my MacBook just because of the hardware that's inside of it. Photoshop and Lightroom have also been great on this iPad. The Adobe apps work really well. And there's just something more fun about editing a photo when you can kind of touch the photo and move the slider and you're kind of doing it with your hands versus a keyboard and mouse. I find it more interactive, way more fun, and it definitely way outperforms the laptop. My laptop heats up a lot and it just doesn't do well. It chugs along pretty badly when I open Lightroom or Photoshop. If you combine this great performance and form factor and portability with the fact that Apple now supports full keyboard and mouse functionality, it, this just makes it such a compelling device to use. I've honestly reached for this more lately than I have my laptop, um, especially with that magic keyboard case. If you have a pro model iPad, the advent of the mouse support makes this thing so much more computer-like than it ever was. And it's actually finally for the first time ever more compelling than ever to use an iPad than any other device. 
day in and day out, like I said, I reach for this more than I do my laptop. And because I just enjoy using it more, it's way more fun. There's more ways to interact with this, especially now that I can use a keyboard and mouse, like a traditional laptop, but then I can also touch the display. There's just more interactability and operability from it. And it's just more of a fun device experience that way. As things stand right now, the way iPads are moving and with MacBooks running Intel processors, I don't know if I would buy another MacBook again after using this and I would probably just go iPad Pro. However, we'll have to see about that. There's a caveat because as we know this fall, Apple is coming out with the ARM MacBooks, so they're basically putting the processors and all the internals that make this such a great machine inside of their Macs to beef that up even further. So we'll see, the Macs may just make an astronomical leap forward and it may even just blow this performance out of the water. So, so we'll have to stay tuned for that. That's it, it's a short video today. I just wanted to kind of share my experiences of how using an iPad for editing has been. And believe it or not, this video was actually edited entirely on an iPad. So it works, it just works, and it's a great, great experience. So how about you, what do you think? How do you think iPads have turned out lately? Do you use one? Do you hate them? Do you think that they're only for kids? Do you actually use them to get things done? Do you use the Apple Pencil? Um, let me know. Like I said, this is such a cool new device and it's making new leaps and bounds within its own space. And I'm just really excited that the iPad is finally a device worth considering for a computer replacement. Thanks so much for watching. Leave me a comment below what you think and I'll see you in the next one.